guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my kitchen. Yay! You always know how happy it makes me to be in my kitchen. Today, we are going to take a box brownie mix and turn it from good to outstanding. So let's get started because it doesn't take that long and we'll be enjoying these before you know it. Okay guys, so there is my handy dandy mixing bowl which doesn't have anything in it yet. It's just empty. And what I'm going to do is kind of move this out of the way for a minute so everybody can see in my bowl. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my brownie mix into the bowl and I'm going to go ahead and add two-thirds cup of oil and two eggs and a fourth of a cup of water. Instead of water, to make it more rich, you can add milk. I'm not going to do that because I am lactose intolerant and adding milk to anything is not good for me. But if you want to add a richer texture, a richer flavor, you add milk. So it would be two thirds cup oil, a fourth of a cup of milk, and two eggs. I'm going to add the water like the package says. So we're going to do these things just like the package says. And then we're going to add in our little tips and tricks to make it that much better. So let's get this in really fast. There's my mix, and this is just sugar, cocoa powder, some baking powder, a little flour. So that's what's in there, and now we are going to add in our oil, our water, and our two eggs. And it says add canola oil because it doesn't have a strong flavor, so that's what I'm going to add. And once I get all the base ingredients in, then we will talk about what we're going to add to make it that much more chocolatey. Because if you have brownies, I want them ooey gooey chocolatey. I don't know about you. So it calls for two eggs. So I'm just putting in my two eggs, my oil, two thirds cup of oil and a fourth a cup of water, which I'm going to get real quick. And my fourth of a cup of water. Okay, now, before I mix that all together, one thing that makes chocolate just pop and be so much more chocolatey is coffee. Now, some will say add instant coffee granules to it. I don't like that. I like to add one tablespoon of strong brewed coffee. So let's do that real quick. Okay guys, so I have some strong brewed coffee here and I'm going to add one tablespoon because the coffee just enhances the chocolate so much. It just makes it pop. Okay, so I have my tablespoon of coffee. I'm going to put that in. Like I said, I prefer to use liquid instead of granules. I just don't think granules make for a good texture. Also, another thing that makes um, chocolate pop is salt. It kind of offsets the sweet, so you add a little extra pinch of salt, and seriously, just a pinch, and put that in. And then you can also add a teaspoon of vanilla. It'll enhance the sweetness. I think it's sweet enough, so I'm going to leave that. Now, I'm going to put it over here on my mixer. it in. I'm going to back it up so you can see. There we go. Lock it in and just mix it on low till it's all mixed together. You don't want to overbeat it. You don't want your brownies to get tough. Now as you can see in there, it's really good and mixed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to take my spatula and kind of go all around on the sides and the back and make sure we get all the powder that's not mixed in mixed in. So I'm just going to scrape around the sides. 
and then I'm going to scrape down to the bottom because sometimes the bottom in these bowls does not get mixed. Okay. I'm going to take this off. It comes off like that. And then I'm going to kind of... Okay, I'm going to move this over to the sink out of the way. Okay. Now I'm going to come back and I like to enhance it. I like to have pockets of ooey gooey. So I'm going to add about half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate morsels. And I like semi-sweet because again, this batter is really sweet. So adding something that's not quite so sweet works well. So I have half a cup. Dump it in and then I'm going to take my mixing bowl off of here. And I'm just going to fold it in. Make sure every layer of brownie has a little extra chocolate in it. Okay. And now it's all mixed. I don't want to mix it too much. <clears throat> I'm going to come over here. And get my brownie pan out. So I have my brownie pan here. And it says coat with nonstick spray, but I don't like to use nonstick spray. I think it cooks weird, it can burn. So I'm just gonna use a tad of butter. So I have just a stick of butter, and I'm gonna take my baking pan and just kind of rub it all over it, like that. And then I will kind of rub it in, into the corners. Okay, and once I get it all into the corners, I'm going to put my mix in. Alright, now I'm just going to take my brownie batter with my extra chocolate enhancing secrets in there. And again, that is a tablespoon of strongly brewed coffee, a pinch of salt, extra chocolate by adding semi-sweet morsels and I like to get every last little bit into my pan sorry this bowl is heavy today my CRPS is definitely acting up and remember if you wanted it sweeter you could add um, sweeter chocolate I added semi-sweet you could also add a teaspoon of vanilla it enhances the chocolate but it also enhances the sweetness I think it's sweet enough you could also add milk for a richer thicker texture okay there's our pan of brownies ready to go in the oven our oven is not quite hot enough it needs to reach 350 degrees so as soon as that's ready, we'll put them in. Okay guys, my oven has come to 350 degrees. I'm gonna pop my brownies in there for 30 to 35 minutes. And for those of you that are concerned about the coffee flavor, you don't taste it at all. It was only one tablespoon of strongly brewed coffee. It doesn't, you don't taste coffee at all. I don't like coffee, but it just enhances that chocolate. You can use the granules. Now, those I'm afraid you might bite into if it doesn't get mixed enough. That's why I like using the liquid. Okay, guys. So, we're going to wait 30 to 35 minutes. We'll check them and we'll pull them out when they're done. See you back then. Hey, guys. While we're waiting on our brownies to bake, I thought I would give you another tip trick for something a little different. When my kids were little, we would make these brownies and do my little tips and tricks to make them better, more chocolatey. And we would also make pizza from a kit. And one thing you can do to make this so much better is when you make the crust and you pat it out into your pizza pans, okay, mix some olive oil and some either garlic powder or grated garlic and brush that all over the crust and then just throw on a light, 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 light coat of Parmesan cheese and then bake it in the oven for like 10 minutes. Then put your toppings on. 
oh my gosh, it makes the pizza crust taste so much better and it enhances the flavor of your overall pizza. So, I'll be back as soon as the brownies are done. Okay, our brownies are done. A little bit ahead of our timer, but that's fine. I turn that off and get my hot pads out and get the brownies out. Oh, and they're beautiful. I wish you could smell them. TV doesn't have smell-o-vision and neither does YouTube. Look how beautiful. Okay, well we'll have a picture of those, I'm sure, being eaten as soon as they cool off enough to cut. Thanks for being here today, guys. Take care and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.